The future of the Keystone XL pipeline to the American Gulf Coast is still up in the air. The time for public input is now officially over. Hundreds packed the last public hearing in Nebraska last night. Opponents and supporters are putting on the pressure. Global National's Francis Silvaggio has more from Albion, Nebraska. Jim Tarnick has been farming the sandy soil of eastern Nebraska all his life. He doesn't know a lot about pipelines, but he knows he doesn't want one running through his property. It's more like they're, they're forcing it upon us and than asking us or anything. Now, originally, Tarnick and his neighbors weren't supposed to be affected by the pipeline. The original design had it run about 64 kilometers west of here. Problem was, it was running right through the sensitive Nebraska sand hills. So TransCanada was asked to reroute about 330 kilometers of the pipeline, but environmentalists say it's still not good enough. The biggest concern is to our water supply. You know, it's not just traditional crude oil. We're talking about tar sands. Rolling on spill. Let it spill. I just think of all those beautiful things that kill. Kill, kill, kill. Frustrated with the state's approval process, concerned landowners and environmentalists came out in full force for a final opportunity to speak against the multi-billion dollar project. Who wants a black eye in their backyard just to compensate a few jobs and some piddly short-term personal property tax revenue? Despite the vocal opposition, recent polls suggest two-thirds of Nebraskans support the pipeline and the economic windfall TransCanada's project would bring to the state and the country. There's 9,000 jobs, direct jobs associated with this project and 120,000 indirect jobs. Whether it creates 20,000 jobs or 100 jobs is in my mind immaterial to a nation that needs every job it can get. Nebraska's Department of Environmental Quality has already issued a draft report indicating TransCanada's reroute has met all of the state's conditions. And despite Tuesday's emotionally charged hearing, officials don't expect much to change. We think our, our report addresses most of the concerns that have been raised. Um, you know, not everybody's going to agree with our analysis. The report should be finalized by the end of the month. Then the governor will have 30 days to make his final decision. For opponents, their minds are already made up. Even if they force it and go through, I'll never be supporting it. I, it's just something I don't, I, I, I just don't want. And the question ultimately is whether the President of the United States wants it, a decision he'll likely make in early 2013. Francis Silvaggio, Global News, Albion, Nebraska.